Good morning. It is a Thursday. Wow. Wind, rain, not so much snow yet in the mountains, although I have seen north of Truckee, I've seen a bunch of snow, like a foot. But down the Olympic Valley, they had rain most of the night last night, down towards, up towards Palisades. Even the top of the mountain only got three or four inches overnight. But now it's turning. The temperatures are dropping in the next hour or two. Right now it's about 1030 in the morning. So the, it's turning over to snow. So they're going to get a couple feet of snow in the uh, Lake Tahoe area, certainly by tonight late and maybe three feet as we go in a little bit into Friday. So we'll keep an eye on that good size weather system. But remember what I said, it's a one and done deal, right? It, well, not one and done, but not a lot happened before this in terms of heavy rain. Not a lot's going to happen after this in terms of heavy, sustainable, um, consistent rainfall. So this thing stands alone. It's a strong weather system. Absolutely. Wind, rain, hail, snow. But it, we can manage the water. L.A., not so much. They've got a lot of rain down there, up over two inches in some places near the burn scars. And they're, ha they're going to have problems today. And they already are. Uh, this is, so we're going to talk about the weekend, how this thing plays out. The heaviest rain for the northern part of the state has moved through. Now it turns into scattered showers, maybe a thunder shower this afternoon. Maybe a final cloud. This is that type of pattern. Want to show you Santa Cruz, the um, steamer lane area up in the hills of Santa Cruz, up in the mountains. They got over two and a half, three and a half, four inches of rain. This is what a south wind, an onshore wind will do inside the lighthouse point. That's steamer lane. You can't really surf it. But the thing I think is most fast about this picture is the, the mud, the, the, the sediment in the water. San Lorenzo River, which is just about a mile south of here, is a big river. It basically drains the Santa Cruz Mountains, and they got a lot of rain up there in a short amount of time. So the water goes from what was yesterday blue to today brown, and that gives you an indication of how much it rained. Now, we'll see some of this brown starting to show up in the San Francisco Bay, uh, coming in from the Sacramento and the Feather Rivers and all those as the next tw two days goes on because it takes a while for it to all drain out to the bay. But, you know, this is part of living in California. The rivers get full and they push out a bunch of sediments. Here is the satellite loop. There is the main band that's gone through. That was really brought the heavy rain for the Bay Area last night, but you can still see it's translating into Southern California where it's raining down there now. And then you can see this secondary and even, you know, beyond secondary, these, this, these energy areas of instability that are not well organized, but will swing through and create uh, moments of heavy rain, scattered showers, gusty winds, but we shouldn't see that long duration, kind of like what we saw last night. I mean, it just rained and rained and rained. I mean, you know, most of us got over an inch and a half of rain. San Jose got over an inch of rain, which is awesome because that's not typically, uh, you know, that's a big storm for San Jose, right? Most of the rain fell out in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Here are some of the watches, warnings, and advisories. These are all going to gradually get dropped today and into tomorrow. There's a wind advisory in orange. The greens are all flood watches, flood advisories, flood warnings. Uh, the pink up here is a winter storm warning, and you get the idea. And then offshore, these are gale warnings. It's blowing pretty hard. These will all gradually click down. So again, I think the the not the most the most intense part of the storm is through, the the, the in terms of its size. But now we're going to get into some smaller areas of potential intensity: thunderstorms, scattered showers that will. Um, go throughout the afternoon today and maybe a little bit into tomorrow morning. So here's Santa Barbara area, flood watches, flood, same thing, right? Wind advisories uh, down along the coast. They've got gale warnings. They've got high surf advisories. It's, uh, it's a myriad of uh, watches and warnings. Let's pop this in. And this is uh, my radar scope. This is a pay to play site that I use. And it basically just shows you what's happening now. Now, this doesn't do us much good tonight. But I want you to see the main rain band that has gone through. And then this is one of those little instability areas that's going through the Bay Area right now. And it's pretty, pretty juicy little area. And we can pick that out in some of the, in some of the cameras. Um, so let's go. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's, well, let's do this. Let's see if I can. Doing this on the fly. Let's go Ocean Beach. 
And you can see here, this is a live camera. See how the camera's shaking, so it's windy, but you're also seeing raindrops. So that's, that verifies, I'll do that a lot. I'll take a radar um, reflection and then go look for a live camera to see if it's raining or not. So we're getting pretty good rain out at the beach right now. Um, and so we'll keep an eye on that. These are rain totals from the last 24 hours, essentially. This is CNFRC, California Nevada River Forecast Center. Awesome site, especially if you live up on the rivers. Um, my friends in the Russian River, this is what you wanna, you wanna bookmark this site and just play around on it. I could show you how to do it, but you gotta pluck around. You'll find stuff and you'll find river levels and forecast levels. So if you're pins and needles about rivers, which you shouldn't be today. I mean, you should be because it's raining, but in terms of the big rivers, they should be fine. Um, here is the, the color coding basically, which I love. So you can see where the rain, really the heaviest rain, not Northern California, See down Central California and down even into Southern California. So now we'll come in a little more granular and you can see uh, as usual, well, not as usual, Mer uh, Marin County, Sonoma County, these areas like Santa Rosa coming in at about an inch and a half, two inches, you get down towards um, Mount Tam and you're at almost three inches, which is pretty good, except when you get two inches in Richmond, if I see two inches in Richmond, I usually expect four inches in um, on Mount Town. So it was not a really aggressive kind of a, uh, uh, it wasn't an atmospheric river hose, fire hose, typical. And so it didn't just inundate the coastal sections that were mechanically lifting the moisture. So it moved through too quickly to do that. So that didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean? It's like, it just was a different system. And so Marin County avoided a lot, a lot, a lot of rain, even though they can handle a lot of rain. San Francisco, 0.91. Down on the peninsula, El Granada, 0.1.3, two inches up in by Crystal Springs Reservoir, two and a half inches. San Jose, yeah, look at you guys, over an inch of rain. This is uh, out by Hayward and up towards Mount Diablo. You've got two or 2.5 inches. And then the winter, I think, is this area down here. They really loaded up, up above Saratoga. There's a flood advisory there. Um, today for a time um, and it could pop up again as this next band goes through but you can see those numbers those are big numbers five inches of rain in the Santa Cruz mountains and that's over oh, let's see, 10 hours it's not very long so that's how that's how the San Lorenzo River which is right here and Steamers Lane which is right here that's how all that mud got into the lineup um, because it's flushing out the river. Uh, so we looked at rainfall totals. Oh, you know what we didn't look at? Let's go all the way to LA. I should do that. Sorry, you guys. Um, Central Coast got a bunch of rain, right? For, these are big numbers, man. These are big numbers. For This is a really awesome California storm. This really is. These numbers, uh, Central Coast doing well. This, is, this system is favoring Santa Cruz South which is not typical for what we've been seeing this year. This year, we've been seeing a lot of favoring in the North Bay, north of the Golden Gate Bridge. Here's Point Conception. You always use that as a, it's a good landmark to know, mostly because a lot of the weather changes significantly on the other side of it. And we have all our friends in LA down here. And so you see the rain numbers. These are good numbers so far, right? Like just under an inch, just over an inch, nothing too aggressive. Um, you know, it's 0.39, Laguna, Nagel, 1.2, Oceanside, almost two inches, and then down towards the San Diego Mountains, up around two and a half inches. So overall, a bang up storm for, for California. Really, really good. It's still going on, but just in that short amount of time, whew, now we're getting a little break right now in many places. It's going to be like this all day on and off. The wind has been blowing. These are some of the wind gusts, 59 mile an hour wind gusts up out of, uh, kind of just up around Lake Berryessa. So almost 60 miles an hour. Mount Diablo, about 55 mile an hour gusts. Uh, Marin County, 30 miles an hour. Santa Cruz Mountains, 50 miles an hour. So these, are, these aren't hell bent winds, but they're, they're, it's windy. I mean, and it was windy and it will continue to be pretty breezy at times, but should be dying down. Uh, Lake Tahoe, not as much wind, 34 miles an hour. So winds were a thing, rain was a thing. Let's look at the model. Uh, I'm gonna push this up just a little bit so I can move it through. And I wanted to point out, see these things up here, you guys? I, people, I get a lot of you guys going, hey, can you, um, time stamp this and I, I can't i haven't figured out how to do that yet they are time stamped 15z on thursday which is <clears throat> which is 
Thursday mid-morning kind of a thing, February 13th. That will toggle. So if you want to keep your eye on, um, if you want to keep your eye on the Thursday, so watch when I kick forward, that Thursday turns into Friday, turns into Saturday, right? So I know, and I'm gonna, I, there's gotta be a way, maybe you guys can help me, there's gotta be a way that I can insert something in editing that like creates like a magnifying glass over these. You know what I mean? Just magnifies that one section. Okay, if you know of something, I'd love to hear it. Uh, this is the GFS, sea level pressure, wind. Ooh, now what do we, first, first thing you notice, look at the lines, right? So we're close to the low. The lines are very, the isobars are very close together. And that is where the winds, 40, 50 mile an hour winds that we have seen. Here we, I know it's really hard to see right here. Um, it'll be easier when I push forward a little bit. There is Bay Area right here. This is to this afternoon. So most of the activities moved off into the mountains, scattered showers in behind this. And then we see some residual stuff. This is Friday, Thursday night. And then this is Friday morning. So Friday early, Friday didn't look bad, right? Awesome, but still going in the mountains, still going on in the mountains. Um, so we're kind of, I can do that again. I'm not real um, super thrilled with the models when you get this in close because they're grand, they're not as granular as you'd like, but also it's, it's, it's happening, it's on us. So a lot of the inputs from these models happen from the weather balloon at Oakland and SFO this morning. So, right, and the models are constantly trying to update and they do a good job, but I'm more like, okay, where's it raining now? Which way is the wind blowing? And that's, that's what I like to do. This is a model. This is doing the same thing, essentially. Here is, okay, here is Thursday mid-morning. Here's Thursday afternoon. Here's the end of the day. That's Thursday night. And here is Friday morning. Okay, awesome, right? Okay, and then we'll look at rainfall accumulations. This is through, let me back it up, about through, through Saturday. Um, so you can see where the rain is. This is the next, this is the accumulation on top of what we already have. And I, when I use this map, I look at, okay, where are the hot spots? There's a hot spot. Mammoth's a hot spot. Lake Tahoe's a hot spot. These are, um, you know, this is, this is how much rain or snow equivalent they think they're gonna get. The models think they're going to get, and I would buy this. So they're saying maybe another half an inch of rain in San Francisco. So that would take San Francisco to over an inch and a half, possibly. But the takeaway is, as you look at, where are we? Oh, this is, let's see, yeah. This is Sutro Tower. It is wet and rainy up there. This is Mount Shasta. Ooh, you can see something. That's cool. One of the things I noted yeah, see the camera on Shasta? This was a kind of a warm storm. So when I talked to Hudson up at Palisades, he's like, yeah, it's, it's raining. And if you noticed last night, it was pretty warm. So a lot of warm air got evicted into this thing. It'll drop as the cold front, the cold air moves in today. But it, it, that's not frozen water. And you're, uh, I don't know, you know you're, you're up north. It should, at that elevation, I'd expect the, it to be freezing levels. But right now, it's not, I don't think that's frozen. I think I saw one dripping earlier. It might be just on the edge of freezing. So we go to the mountains. This is the Caltrans cameras, which are amazing. It looks like traffic is barely moving. They are gonna be chaining up and chaining down and quite frankly, not surprised a bit if they have a closure for a time or two, because that's a lot, they're gonna get a lot of snow. You know the rain totals I showed you? That's gonna, that's gonna turn over to snow. So let's say an inch of rain, a foot of snow, maybe a, maybe eight inches of snow, but let's call let's go inch to a foot. So if we got two inches, so three inches of rain, which we saw Santa Cruz Mountains, four inches. So you can kind of just broad brush and go, yeah, we could see two and a half, three feet of snow up around around the, the mountains. So this is Donner Lake Road. This next picture uh, again, Caltrans up in the mountains. This is about eleven o'clock in the morning now, and this looks slow. This is Kingvale. And they're moving, that's awesome. Mm. Sorry about that slurp. Um, yeah, it's snowing pretty good now too. The west side's probably gonna get, obviously get cooler quicker because of the, um, because the cold air can get in there. Right now there's a lot of warm air stuck in the valley up out, out in Truckee. Uh, okay, so here is the wind along the coast. This is South Ocean Beach. Surf is large, it's gonna be giant. It's eight to 10 today. Tomorrow it's gonna be, 15 to 20 
Um, and squirrely, it's actually gonna, going to be surfable in, in some places. I think Mavericks, could, just because the winds are going to turn around and such. So we'll see how that goes. But you can kind of see some of the sediments at Ocean Beach as well being, being turned up by the surf and turned up by the outgoing tides. So this is how it goes. Weekend looks not bad. And this has been a good storm. That's a lot, but suffice to say, just hang on for the rest of the day. And then you're kind of, you're not, you're never done, but you're getting done. I know that was a lot, a lot, a lot of weather. Thank you for hanging in. Oh, um, I was going to ask you if you could, I know, I hate, if you're still here, if there's three of you here, that's thank you. But I would love it if you guys would um, share this. I don't know how that works, but I think if you hit a share button on my YouTube video, it'll move it out into more people. Because it's, it's fun having a lot of people, and we're, it's sort of a little community we're developing, because I hear in the comments and stuff, and um, you know, and there's some smart people in here, <laughs> which is intimidating. But uh, I'd like that if you could share. So maybe that's your little thing today, your little gift, my little retirement gift to me. I know, right? Me, me, me. Um, but I was, if you could hit share or just turn a friend onto it or email it to a friend and, and then maybe they'll subscribe. They don't have, you don't have to tell them to subscribe. Maybe they'll subscribe because they like it. Okay, uh, that's a lot. I know. I, I got to get these shorter, I think, but I just, there's so much to talk about. Okay, I'll see you back here maybe tonight if something happens, but I'm going to have a beer. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'll talk to you later.